what's happening is inside of the bottle, they put a little bit more yeast and a little bit more sugar uh, during bottling. It's actually like, as it sits, it's still fermenting. All these are gonna be like, pretty, pretty heavy handed on the alcohol. In order to like, taste these properly, I would recommend going from, from like, lighter in body and flavor to darker and heavier in body and flavor. So I would pretty much, this is pretty much the lineup. So this is Chimay, Chimay Blue. This is a classic, classic, classic beer. It's a, a Trappist, which only, there are only seven Trappist uh, breweries. And in order to be um, considered a Trappist brewery, certain certification, and you know, nobody has been certified in like hundreds of years. This is uh, a quadruple. So um, it's gonna be like dark in character, uh, have like a good maltiness to it, but also like a, a fair fair hop like bite. Um, that's just to balance everything out. And actually like with beer, there's this thing called the Reinheitsgebot. Uh, it's the, so it's a law that says that beer can be no more than four ingredients, and that is barley malt, water, yeast, and hops. And so this falls under that guideline. Sometimes like when I order a beer like this and it's served at refrigerated temperature, I'll hold my hands on it to kind of warm it up a little bit. So what you're doing there is, with anything, um, the, the warmer the temperature, what's gonna happen is like it's gonna release more aroma. And that's also, that goes into effect with the head. Um, I see a lot of people like, you know, swipe their nose and like trying to like use the oils to like make the head go away. And it's with a beer like this, that is horrible because you want that head, otherwise you can't smell the beer. You know, otherwise it's just a, a liquid sitting. And then we move on to Triple Carmelite. This guy has a very romantic, romantic glass. This is a triple. It's a Belgian style as well. And they put it into a big, big glass so that you can produce like a really nice fluffy head. You want it about 50-50. And this is great because it's a tulip. So what you can do, really get your face in there to smell everything. It provides like a good amount of space for everything to happen. And that's a really nice beer. <laughs> All right, and then we move on to what I call a hybrid style. This guy is a Hopfenweiss, so it's a hoppy, hoppy wheat beer. And I, I like to get up there to kind of like cause some nucleation and get some head on that. American craft brewers are like on the cusp of complete originality when it comes to making beers. So much so that there are actually breweries in like, um, there's one called Nonio. Uh, they are out of um, Norway. And they've actually created a brewery in Norway that only produces American style ales and lagers. So this guy is going to be a little bit lighter in body, but also have like a good hop kick. Whereas this guy is going to be really effervescent, uh, full bodied, crisp and, and bright. And then this guy is going to be malty and deep, malty punch to the mouth. <laughs> I think beer is supposed to be drank, not looked at. 